Hey y'all, it's Claudia with Crazy Island Studios and welcome! Welcome to the first edition of Freedom Journal Fridays. I'm so excited. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing today. I just, um, yeah, I want to get started. I'm so excited. Totally thought that today was Friday and that I could record this for you guys and get it out. It's not Friday. It's not. It's Saturday. So by the time you see this, it will be a few days old. I, I just, I have no excuse. I really wanted to get it started, well, this week, and, and then I woke up all excited about doing this, and um, yeah, it's not Friday, so I'm so disappointed. And I don't want to put it out on Saturday, so I'm going to record it for you guys today and save it for next Friday. I'm sorry for those of you that were all hoping with me that we would do that this week, and we didn't, or last week by now and we did it. I'm sorry. So I have my journal. Again, I'm using my Strathmore um, mixed media journal. It comes with the 500 um, series which is their premium. That's like their highest quality series of paper in it. I love it. And this one is the seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters size journal and it is the soft cover. I just recently saw at the art store they have like a five by eight yeah, a smaller one. I'm kind of excited about it. I might get it just to play with it, even though I have the small dilutions. For different things, it actually would be a better choice. So I have no idea what I'm doing today, and that's kind of the whole freedom part of this, is that I'm just going to play, record it for you guys, talk to you a little bit about what I'm using and what I'm doing, and I'm making noise because I'm trying to get some stuff out of my way over here, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I have a... I'm, I'm just like cleaning up my desk a bit here. Um, I have some quiet time right now and I have like totally wasted the first like half hour of it so if it gets noisy I'm sorry but my son, my son? No. My husband and my daughter will be showing back up soon. Um, I don't know why I didn't get like started on this the second they walked out the door but that's just how smart I am. So we're gonna get going. Like I said don't know what I'm doing but we're just gonna play and have fun. Um, I don't know about you all, but sometimes that first journal page on the inside of a journal is really intimidating. And I'm going to tell you that there is glue in here. It's also, I think, sewn. I haven't checked the center. I'm pretty sure I checked the center of these signatures and that they are sewn and glued. Yeah, they are sewn and glued. But it's not so bad. I think I could actually work on this first page. But I tend to get that little bit of weird intimidation um, about the first page of a journal. Like, you feel this whole need to make it look really good. So I like to skip ahead a few <laughs> and just work on a random page. So that's what I'm doing. And I might actually just work on random pages throughout this entire journal. Who knows? Like, freedom, right? We are doing what we want. I am going to take my seam here because I can see the gap so things will like run down there. I have no idea if um, I'm going to use wet media or what yet and so I thought I'll just be it's better to be safe right so I'm going to use you know what no I'm changing my mind already I have artist tape and I like this stuff um, masking tape works fine too I just don't have any with me um, the only masking tape I have is blue and I just thought I don't really want to gesso the pages and if I put the tape down I have to gesso so I'll just use paint. Let me grab my guards Oof. out of the thing in here. I use parchment paper to protect my um, other pages. I tend to just like fold it under that helps hold it in place and I like parchment paper because the paint doesn't stick to it which is kind of, you know, a good thing. Also, though, you do still have to be careful um, when you paint something and it paints over the edge onto your parchment paper because even though, well, because the paint won't really stick to the parchment paper, it will still dry attached to the paint that is on your page. So when you lift it up, it'll peel off the parchment paper and you'll have all these little bits of paint hanging off the edge. If that's what you want, cool. Do it. If that's not what you want, avoid that. So I'm just going to smush some paint onto this page and I'm going to just go with my favoriteest color combination ever and that's, you know, 
pink and turquoise. So I'm using Dina Wakely paints. It doesn't matter what paints you use. I just like these. The, I think these colors blend really nice. Um, I, I just I just like them. That is all. That's all I've got. I have no other reason. So I'm just going to you know smush some on there. I am super excited about the fact that she came out with lids. You take these off and you can screw on a tip that has a needle tip and you can write with them. Oh, can't wait. They're on order with my um, Dilutions paints that still have not arrived and I am super sad because like, well, who wouldn't be super sad, right? Like I want my, I want my paints. I'm waiting so impatiently. So I'm going to use kind of a wet brush to get the paint to flow. I want a thin coating. I don't need it very thick. So I'm just going to stay in the turquoise for a minute and keep adding a little water just to help the paint flow across the page. It'll also help the paint blend whenever I mix the two colors, having that little bit of clean water on the brush. There is so not enough pink paint on here. I may have to remedy that. This is me being determined to make this paint spread as far as I want it to spread. Sometimes I'm stubborn. That's sarcasm. Yeah, because I'm always stubborn. Ask my family. See, if they were here right now, there would be like this little voice piping up because my Stevie can't help but get involved in my videos now that she's done it once. She just like wants to say something about everything. She's so funny. Um, but she would definitely be agreeing <laughs> with the whole stubborn thing right now. Yeah. Okay, so I got the paint spread around and I'm just going to take a dry towel. It's not very clean. A dry towel and move it around a little bit just to get that nice blendy instead of all the brush strokes. Now the cool thing about this um, technique of just covering the page with the paint and then using water to kind of help it flow, it goes on very thin and it dries super fast. So it's always like a fun thing for me. I like doing it, especially as a first layer, to get something down on the page, get some color, go from there, um, and then it dries really fast. So I'm going to hit this with the heat gun and get it all dry. I'll be right back. Okay, so I still don't have any brilliant ideas of what I want to do with this page, and it might kind of go that way through the entire page. Who knows? So I'm going to get my Stazon Black Stamp Pad Permanent, in case you don't know. I love my Stazon. I wish I could find a pink one, but I have been unsuccessful. This is a pot holder I found at Target or Walmart or something, and it's got this awesome honeycomb pattern, and it stamps beautifully. Um... I have a stencil of this, but it's the reverse, so you get the honeycomb, not the lines, and I like the lines better. So this was like a super happy thing to find, and I love it. It is quite literally like, I think, my favorite mark making tool in the world right now. Okay, that's enough. And it's also really like super easy to clean because it's rubbery. So you just wipe it real quick and that's it. Like even when I did it with paint, it comes clean so easy. I need more pot holders with cool patterns. I need them. Okay, so now what? I don't know. Let me think. Okay, so I'm just grabbing out. This is from my travel journal. It's a file folder that I just cut down to fit into my little... Um, travel journal bag or creating on the couch bag if you guys have seen that video it's in like the first creating on the couch um, it's not in the first one but it's in one of them I show it so I just have some bits of collage 
stuff that I had put in here so I'm just going to use them I am like on like a mission to use up some stuff and yeah because you know I have a lot of stuff so it needs to happen this stuff is already colored that's kind of interesting um, yeah it needs to happen I need to use up some stuff it's just I have too much so I'm going to collage some stuff down whatever I grab I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work so I'm using matte medium these are all thinner paper, so I'm going to use my fluid matte medium, which actually isn't looking very fluid right now. Usually, you know, I have it in this bottle, and I fill up my cup, um, but this cup has been sitting in my journal bag for a while. It's not the one I usually have in my studio, so it's a little thickened from <laughs> sitting in the jar. That's okay. I It'll work, and I want to use it up before I add more. That way, you know, when I add more, it'll actually be thin. Because, yeah, it needs some help. But I have, my brush has been soaking in water, so it's pretty wet. You can see it's pretty splayed. Uh, because I have a little water dish here instead of my big jars, I've actually been able to keep my um, glue brush, which I have marked with the orange tab so that I don't use other brushes in my gels if I can help it because they tend to get really really hard and eventually have to throw them away but by keeping it in water it stayed really soft and I like that so um, I didn't really have a setup in my old place where I could do that so having that now is kind of nice let's see I kind of like this little quote so little time so much to do I might have to let that like stay visible somewhere Okay, I'm just going to glue to my little heart's content. Okay, so you saw that I really like worked the gel medium into my tissue papers and I pushed pretty um, firm with my brush and try to really saturate it. And the reason that I do that is as you can see up in here as these are starting to already dry, it helps the tissue really become far more transparent so that it kind of just you know shows all the colors and everything from underneath so that's why I really work the matte uh, medium into it and make sure that I fully saturate the paper it also um, promotes good adhesion which is important so that your stuff doesn't come up I think I'm going to also add some washi tape to this again I'm still just playing in the background so um, yeah I'll stick this down I'll probably no, I'll definitely be applying uh, matte medium over the top of it to help it stick because washi tape is traditionally not a very sticky tape and I am sorry I know you can hear the dogs my dad's dog just decided to come up the stairs and visit which he she does every time he leaves and gets my dogs all riled up so now there's like three dogs running around in my little teeny tiny apartment playing and having a great time so um I'm sorry there's noise so okay so I'll probably fast um, speed through the rest of me adding the tape and then I'll be back with you after I get it dried that's pretty dry and now that I'm moving forward and still don't exactly know what I want to 
do with this. I'm, I'm just going to put on some paint with um, a brayer. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I have new brayers I want to try out. Let's let's do this first. I think I already have too much paint. I think it should have been less than that because I don't want to cover up everything. Gesso works really good for this if you want it to be a little bit, um, you know, translucent because gesso dries, you know, you can kind of see through it a little bit. And if you don't want those little lines, because I only have this little brayer with me, um, you can rub on stuff. Do you, do you love the neighbor's dogs in the background? They make me so happy. <laughs> More sarcasm. They're so loud. Do you hear that? How can you not hear that? It's insane. And at like 6 in the morning, he likes to run around and get all loud and crazy. And there's like a piece of sheet metal that the neighbor uses to keep him off the fence. But he just knocks it down and then runs on top of it. And it's a big dog, like, you know, German Shepherd size dog. I don't know why I envision a German Shepherd. Because um, they're like my favorite big dog. I don't know. So, yeah, he just runs around on top of it. It makes just, you know, a crap ton of noise running around on top of sheet metal. Scares the tar out of you at 6 in the morning when you're ripped from a sleep <laughs> from the noise. And then the barking. and yeah, He's having fun though, right? He's having fun. What are you going to do? So, I kind of like this. I want a little more. I thought I would have too much. But I need a little more. So I don't know like what my format's going to be for these videos like long term like right now I'm chatting with you guys so it's kind of like you know a visit and a journal play and I kind of like that. You guys need to let me know what you guys want. So do you want me to sit and chat with you guys while I make art and it's kind of like being at my house hanging out with me if I was you know just rambling and making a page because if you ask Sarah who has come to my house to play art with me have art play dates there we go she'll tell you I definitely know how to ramble we both talk a lot so there's a lot of words um, let me know would do you guys want that do you want me to just speed through it um, and like voice over it later so it's shorter I can do that um, I'll try not to let these get too long so I probably won't talk like all the time all the time this one will probably be one of the longer ones um, just because I'm visiting and asking you questions so do you guys want it to be like hanging out with me a little bit longer video do you prefer a shorter like sped through video with um, like voiceover later uh, where I tell you what I'm doing and what products I used or whatever so let me know like what it, what format do you guys think would be the most fun for us to do on these Freedom Journal Fridays um, I, I'm leaning towards you know I'll talk to you guys a little bit I'll speed through some of the more boring things obviously and then come back and talk to you again and try to find like maybe some sort of balance in there do you think that's a good idea like a little bit of both so anyways yeah I'm all for your opinion um, I would say I was going to hit this with the heat gun to dry it, but I'm not because it's pretty dry already. And I I don't know that this is going to work on this page, but I don't care. I really want to try this new brayer I got with this cool texture. It looks like fun. And I think, like, what color? Hmm. I'm thinking like teal. I mean, I know I have some turquoise on there. It's pretty close to teal, but I don't know that I care. I'm thinking I like teal. So I don't really know if this will go up inside of those grooves, so I'm just going to spread the paint out a little bit first before I run my brayer through it, and then let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. I'm like excited already. <laughs> I'm such a kid. Let's get it. Oh, come on, spin. There we go. Anybody else have trouble with their brayer not wanting to spin in the paint because it's all nice and slippery? Yeah. Oh, look. See, some of it got in there, but I don't know if that's going to matter when I actually run it over the page because those little bits that are inside aren't going to go on it. Let's just see what happens. Where do we want to go? Oh, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That makes me so happy. That, that, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm so stoked about this. Oh, look at the, oh my gosh. I want to do it again in black. Who wants to do it again in black? Let's do it again in black. 
Okay, I'll be right back when I'm ready.